Perfect timing, Bruce. What can you say? Your timing is impeccable. But you know, one of the best things about 20 towns is getting to meet folks and then also handing over that thousand dollar check. Now here in Wallingford, so many great uh, opportunities, so many great charities, but we settled on one that last year gave out more than 300 tons of food. Well, you are wonderful. This, this you you are wonderful. No problem. Well, thank you. So. Thank you. You know, this is going to buy a lot of peanut butter. <laughs> Good. But it'll also help us keep the lights on. Now that was the reaction from Master Mana's board get chair, chair Gail Powell when we surprised her with a check for $1,000. Now located on South Cherry Street, Master's Mana describes itself as a food pantry and a resource center. Started as a tiny basement pantry and over the years it's grown into an organization that serves people from Wallingford, Meriden, Cheshire, North Haven and Durham. Now through its food pantry, it says it supplies groceries to more than 2,400 people who came in through more than 14,000 visits last year. They also have a dining room that serves breakfast and lunch three days a week, along with a dinner each Wednesday. And while the main goal is to make sure no one goes hungry, they also have a marketplace to provide clothes and even weekly doctor office hours. With most of our things coming from donations, when we get a donation that we're not expecting, it really makes us relax and know that we can keep the doors open, keep the refrigerators running, and keep our Kelly freezer out there, keeping the food frozen so that we can feed people for another week, another month, another year maybe. So it really, it really is an awesome, an awesome step up for us to get a check like this when we don't expect it. So thank you. Now, Masters Mana says it's all made possible by its volunteers, volunteers who put in more than 18,000 hours last year. Now, coming up tonight at 6, we're going to introduce you to some well-known restaurants and some pretty unique restaurants here in Wallingford, but that's coming up live at 6, though. For now, though, we're live with the Mobile Newsroom in Wallingford. Matt McFarland, Channel 3 Eyewitness News.